What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Step Tech. Today we're taking a look at the ASUS TUF F16, ASUS's newly updated mid-range budget-ish laptop for 2024. Now this has a number of updates and improvements compared to the 2023 version of the ASUS F15 and we're going to go over all of those improvements and changes in today's video. So I got hands-on with the ASUS TUF F16 in New York at their pre-CES briefing meeting. Now, uh, we don't have official pricing on the F16, but the ASUS TUF F15 with the RTX 4070 was on sale for as low as $999 in 2023 on Black Friday and during the very best sales day. So I'm hoping that the F16 default pricing will probably be around 1400 maybe 1500 uh, and hopefully go down to like the 1100 maybe even a thousand dollar range eventually for black friday 2024 we'll have to see but overall uh this has a number of improvements to the laptop which will make the price probably be a bit more compared to the 2023 version of the f15 so First, first of all, and most importantly, the biggest update, of course, is the F16 nomer, meaning that we are now have a 16-inch display that is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And the key thing here uh, is that it's also a much higher resolution, 165 hertz, 2560 by 1600. Uh, with a 90% screen to body ratio. And the overall chassis is still a very similar size to the 2023 version, just with a larger display. So that's great. Now the, uh, the i7 13650HX has 14 cores, 20 threads, very high powered CPU, uh, more powerful than you probably would think for a i7 1350HX. H, because it's an HX, basically. The HX version of all of these processors are significantly more powerful than the H version of the processors. Uh, they usually have more cores and threads. Now, this has 14 cores, 20 threads. Uh, and I believe this was originally a chip designed for a desktop PC, but it was rebranded and relabeled and redesigned, I guess, a, a bit to fit into a laptop. So it actually has more uh, data throughput than your typical laptop processor with the 14 cores, 20 threads. So I'm, in, I'm, I'm excited to see how well this processor performs. It, we'll have to actually fully test it when it comes out. Now the Tough series historically is made from plastic and it goes through military durability testing. Uh, I personally have not done any durability testing on the Tough series, though it might be something I'd be interested in trying, though I don't know how well it would actually survive when you actually drop test it, but I, I imagine it's going to be better than your average laptop for sure because it does have that specific design ethos to be more durable and to handle colder temperatures, warmer temperatures, to be more dust resistant. Now, we do have four fan exhausts on this laptop with 84 blade arc fans that also have a dust filter. The nice thing about dust filter, of course, is that it allows uh, for catching that dust and easily removing it rather than having to uh, vacuum out the whole system as often. Now this has a single zone RGB keyboard with a larger touchpad that has the Tough logo on the touchpad, very similar to the Tough A16 design, but with Intel specs. On a ports level, we have on the right side, one USB-A. I like that we have a USB-A on both sides, just in case you uh, wanna put your mouse, for example, on the right side instead of the left side. Um, but uh, in addition, we also have an Ethernet port, HDMI 2.1, two Thunderbolt 4 with up to 100 watts of USB-C power delivery, and DisplayPort output support, of course, since it's Thunderbolt 4. And we also have an additional USB-A on the left side and a headset combo port. So the most of the ports here are on the left side of the laptop. I personally like having a mixture of ports being on the left and right, uh, but at least it's a decent number of ports. I wish there was one more USB-A and maybe like a full-size SD card slot. And then we'd pretty much have the perfect port selection here. Of course, Thunderbolt 4 support is great for those of you that want to use a dock or that want to use perhaps an eGPU in the future, or which can be super convenient to upgrade your laptop's performance down the line. And if you don't have Thunderbolt 4 support, it can be a lot 
trickier or uh, more difficult to actually get a decent eGPU option. Now, the RAM speed this year is also significantly upgraded from the Tough F15, which had DDR4 3200 RAM. Now we have DDR5 5600 RAM paired with the i7 13650HX. Again, 14 cores, 20 threads, should be a very powerful CPU, especially, again, for a budget and mid-range. Now, the F16 can be equipped with up to an RTX 4070, and that's key here because a 4050, 4060, or 4070 might adjust the pricing significantly, um, but I would say the best bang for the buck probably is gonna be going for that 4070 when it's on sale, most likely, at least based on the pricing we've seen in 2023 for the F15, if that translates to the new models. Now, the Asus Tough F16 overall, I think is gonna be one of the very best, more budget-friendly oriented laptops in 2024. Now, it's obviously not a super budget laptop. It's gonna be more of a mid-range for the upper specs. Uh, and maybe if you, if you get like the 4050 version, maybe it will be more of a budget oriented uh, pricing, but we'll have to see the, the official pricing whenever it comes out. Now, if you want to know the official pricing, there is going to be a 2024 gaming laptop list down below, and we'll be updating, adding that pricing information and where you can buy this laptop uh, whenever it does come out. So thanks so much for watching this quick overview of the Asus Tough F16. I will be doing a full detailed unboxing and review live stream that's going to just be incredibly detailed. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that content in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. Huzzah.